to Arise Asia. You are watching Arise Asia with Ruth Gill. Please join us every Tuesday at 7 p.m. आप सबको बहुत बहुत सलाम प्लीज हमारा साथ दीजिए इस प्रोग्राम में जैसे कि आप जानते हैं बहुत सारे हमारे प्रोग्राम्स जो यहाँ से ब्रॉडकास्ट हुए हैं उनसे बहुत सारे लोगों को बरकत मिली है और पीपल आर ब्लेस्ड एंड एज दे आर वाचिंग दिस प्रोग्राम दे आर ब्लेसिंग टू अस एस वेल व्हेन दे गिव अस द न्यू टेस्टमोनीज वी आर यू नो मैग्नीफाइंग द लॉर्ड एंड वी वी आर रिजॉइसिंग दैट देयर इज यू नो द वर्क ऑफ द लॉर्ड इज बीइंग अकॉम्प्लिश ऑन द फेस ऑफ द अर्थ सो आज इस प्रोग्राम का जो मजमून है वो है मैरिज आज आप देखते हैं कि दुनिया में सबसे ज्यादा जो एक हलचल मची है तीन सब्जेक्ट की है मैरिजेस फैमिलीज और चर्चेस का जो है ये एक बहुत ही इशू है देखते हैं कि हमारी जो गवर्नमेंट के हाथों से चीज़ें जो है कंट्रोल नहीं हो रही लेकिन क्या है यहाँ पर हम देखते हैं कि किस तरह हम अपनी मैरिजेस को अपने घराने को अपने लोगों को हाउ कैन वी रिस्टोर आवर मैरिजेस हाउ कैन वी रिस्टोर आवर फैमिलीज वैन वी एवरी इज फॉलोइंग अ पार्ट प्लीज स्टे ट्यून एंड कीप वॉचिंग आई हैव सम वंडरफुल गेस्ट विद मी टूडे एंड यू विल बी ब्लेस्ड Okay Pastor Asif welcome to the show you have been with us before as well and Pastor Derek welcome you have been with us before as well welcome, welcome. god bless you and it's lovely to have you joy to have you here okay so we are going to just uh, speak on the subject of marriage okay so uh, first of all i like you to just speak to the viewers and tell them you know how you know what is on your mind or whatever is the message on your heart laid today and pastor derek you are you just introduce yourself to the viewers gone thank you viewers uh, anybody who is watching us uh, this uh, this time uh, at this very moment uh, we greet you all in the name of jesus Amen. and uh, thank you for staying tuned to revelation tv they are a great people of god and uh, under a very strong calling they are doing a wonderful job and uh, i congratulate revelation tv for the impact that they are making in the world and uh, thank you for giving us a chance to be uh, here and uh, help them and stand beside them for this good work of god that they have been carrying out for years Amen. and uh, i i'm so grateful to pastor ruth and pastor subhash gill who have been a uh, very wonderful people of god and uh, taking the gospel into the world and uh, we are really uh, happy for their lives and for their ministry and we do pray regularly that uh, may god continue to use them uh, wonderful thank you uh, so uh, much and in 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 a mighty way hallelujah yes. thank you yes. pastor derek yes um i also want to um thank uh, revelation tv church without walls and uh, been watching them for years and years and they're a great inspiration and as i talk to various people they love the program and i love what revelation does and i love that they handle um tough topics and uh, they, they just preach the unadulterated word of god and just want to say thanks to pastor ruth and pastor sebash for giving us the privilege and we honor you guys and honor revelation tv for that thank, thank you. you so much for coming here i mean you are a blessing to the channel you are a blessing to the viewers you are a blessing to us so we you know thank god for your lives and i thank god for you know how the lord is uh, working <coughs> through your lives you are such blessing to thank us you. Uh, every time i have spoken to you you have really blessed me you have blessed uh, you know really blessed subash and uh, we 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 guys love you and oh, thank you God, yeah. mm. <laughs> okay uh, so shall we just you know since we have only uh, 27 minutes when i think uh, we better hurry and just uh, come to the point <laughs> yeah. okay aaj ka jo mazmoon hai jaise ki maine kaha ke wo shaadi ka mazmoon hai aur ye ek aisa issue hai jo jiska bahut ek ek alarmed issue hai jiske bare mein har koi jo hai jaag gaya hai pareshan hai so this um, Uh, subject is uh, very alarming where every i think uh, this is a very uh, is a waking up call for everyone for the government for the churches for the nation so we're going to start from uh, pastor asif what have you got to say today um in the beginning of this year god spoke to me and my first sermon i preached was togetherness togetherness unity. togetherness okay. unity mm -hmm. now i thought that that is a unity amongst churches but then god redefined it and he said it is the togetherness in the marriage mm -hmm. so god said that this year you have to work on the marriages if you want a strong church mm -hmm. that means that church is a community of people who are whose lives are based on biblical values that means the marriages has to be worked according to the principles that god has put in place yes okay in the bible in the bible yeah that, so church cannot run 
Yes. Church cannot be stronger. The atmosphere of Holy Spirit cannot work to its fullness if the marriages in the churches are not strong. Yes. In other words, <coughs> if the body is not right, if mm. the body is not together, yes. body is not healed, we can, uh, the church is not there. That's the right. church is falling apart. That's right. So uh, tell me, uh, you know, this uh, uh, subject, it, 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 how, how did you take it when you found out that you know like uh, people are worried about this issue <laughs> people are uh, concerned about this issue they are very serious about this uh, issue how, wh how did you feel um, uh, uh, the, the problem of marriages is, is in is in every house it's in like every like there is no perfect human being on this planet mm -hmm. there's no perfect marriage mm -hmm. but we are all working towards the perfection it does not ma mean that we cannot achieve it, we cannot get there. There, have, uh, there are guidelines given in the Word of God that we need to abide to and study them because what happened is that this year I, I, we have just finished the marriage course. Okay. Now, if, if uh, any viewers who are interested to do the course and want to learn more about it, please write to us or contact uh, Revelation TV and we can give you the further details. But this course is, uh, I, I, m the couples who did the course uh, people who have been married for 18 years, 20 years, or four years, they all need to sit back and study the Word of God, yeah. how to run their marriages, mm -hmm. how to have a happy life, because prosperity is the ultimate goal mm -hmm. that everybody wants to achieve. So we are understanding that uh, lack of knowledge, we have perished. That's is right. That, uh, so That's right. lack of knowledge, yeah. we, uh, our church, our community has been perishing. Uh, so viewers, today's uh, question is, you will be able to understand this thing. Just like Pastor Asif has said, that if there is no unity in the church, when there is no unity in the church, when there is no unity in the church, then the church is very important. The church is the body of the church, together so lack of knowledge we have been perishing or we need uh, to be educated mm -hmm. so P, uh, you have been educated in this That's area right. so uh, uh, may I say uh, before that, uh, you know, before taking this course, how was, what was your experience of marriage? Uh, how was your marriage? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, so I'm so sorry, yeah. uh, because it's, uh, I mean, uh, I, you I, know, I, the I viewers not, must be expecting no, that. So I did. I, I do not mind, you know, uh, answering to that question because uh, I'm, I'm sure that anything that is happening in believers' life, is, is to become a testimony so Amen. that it will it should go out and would bless other people. Amen. You would agree, Pastor mm -hmm. Harris? Absolutely. And, and what happened in my life that when I, I, I was first, I was thinking that why should I do a marriage, marriage course? course? Because mm -hmm. I'm a pastor, my wife, you know, <laughs> is a perfect woman for me. Mm -hmm. Why do I need the course? Why do I need the course? And there are many out there would be thinking the same way, especially the pastors and leaders, mm -hmm. why do we need to do the course? Exactly. But there is always more to learn from the Word of God. Amen. Amen. It's Amen. never an If someone thinks that he knows the Word of God yes. and he is a perfect being, he mm -hmm. is not. Yes. Because read the Genesis again and again, and the first verse will bring out a new revelation yes. every stage, every level, every age. Yes. And with the pastors and leaders, <laughs> Pastor Derek, people, um, uh, they must be thinking, you know, mm. we know the word, mm. you know, yeah. we have preached sermons, yes. so we don't need to be taught. Exactly. So <laughs> <laughs> Even though I've preached on marriage, <laughs> I have, uh, I've been doing a counseling, marriage counseling with lots of couples in the yes. church, yes. yet I thought, and the Holy Spirit convicted me, go through this course and you will uh, have a new dimension, a new revelation will come to you. Yes. And it okay. did, and I praise God for that. And what is that dimension? <laughs> what is that? experience we okay, want to uh, know. Uh, as, as a minister and as, as, a, as a pastor, there are many out there who thinks that uh, they are 24 by 7 for God. Mm. Mm -hmm. Everything they are doing is godly and there is very little of ungodly things in their lives. Mm. What I learned is that I had to learn to balance my life because I've got a spouse with me Mm -hmm. that who needs the time okay. as much as the church wants. Yes. As the yes. other families are concerned, yeah. uh, so is my family. There is my children mm -hmm. sitting at home waiting for me to come home. Mm -hmm. I have listened to a, a, a testimony of a pastor who was a, a pastor for many years, yet his only son, only child, mm -hmm had never a privilege to have his company. Yes. My goodness. Because he would go out in the morning and would come late at home, and then he felt, he started feeling that his wife and his son mm. 
are together and always against him. Yes. But it was not the case. The case was that he was never there for them. Yes. He was never there. Okay. So let me just explain it to the viewers in Urdu or Punjabi, whatever. Uh, just like we have Pastor Asif said, uh, we have learned that we have to do a marriage course. Many pastors and leaders are thinking that we have preached a lot of great sermons. What is the need for it? But when we look at this thing, when we look at its conviction, when we look at its conviction, when we look at its conviction, Pastor Asif said that I have a conviction that I have to learn this thing and I have to go to its depth so that I can go to the next dimension. So, we have seen that in the next dimension, the conviction is that we realize that we have to 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 realize that اپنے سپاؤز کی بچوں کی وہ ان کی ان کو ایسے محسوس ہوتا ہے جیسے وہ ان کو چھوڑے جا رہے ہیں ان سے پیچھے ہٹ گئے ہیں یا ان کی قدر نہیں کرتے عزت نہیں کرتے لیکن یہ ہوتا ہے کہ کبھی ہم نے ان کو وقت نہیں دیا ہوتا ہم ان کے ساتھ نہیں بیٹھتے سو یہ واقعی بہت ہی what I learned from the course is this that I learned that I have to give time to my wife in person and I have to give time to my children and I have to learn the balance in the ministry and in our house and then the extended family and everything. So is the wife and uh, the uh, children yes. and the husband is the immediate family. That's right. And we, I believe it's in Genesis 2.23, right. the wife is, the very first wife, mm -hmm. is the bone mm. from his bone. Well, for biblically, yeah, that's what I want to say is it's one flesh. Husband and wife are not mm -hmm. separate. <coughs> If they think that they are two different individuals and they're, they're separate, they're not. Because after marriage, they are one flesh. Amen. They Amen. are one flesh. Yes. And uh, Pastor Asif, can I ask you, you know, uh, when uh, the marriage covenant yeah. and the vows, yeah. uh, they are so serious when you look into them. Yeah. Uh, can we just talk about it, Pastor Derek? They are so serious, aren't they? Yeah. yeah, please. Go on, do you go. Um, I'm glad you mentioned the word covenant because this was the first lesson that we studied okay. <laughs> in the marriage course. Now covenant, that's why God did not call it a contract. He called yes, yes. it a covenant. covenant. Now covenant has not, hasn't got any terms and conditions. It is lifetimes yes. and good or bad, you have to abide to it. Mm -hmm. there, is no other, there is no other choice. Yes. Until your last breath, you have to stay in the covenant. That's why marriage is a covenant, yes. it's not a contract. Amen, amen. Because so, you cannot just come up and sign a paper that if you do not pay the mortgage, you're not going to stay with me. Mm. If you don't pay the bills, you're not going to stay with me. It's a covenant, whether you pay or someone is, <laughs> you have to take the responsibility yes. that we are together in this. Amen. We are one flesh and we are there for a lifetime. Amen. So, our message is that our جو سپاؤز کی اپنے پارٹنر کی اپنے دوسرے حصے کا ہم نے خیال رکھنا ہے اور اس کو اپنے جسم کے جیسے پیار کر رہا ہے جیسے کہ ہم نے دیکھا کہ پہلی میریج جو ہے پیدائش کی کتاب اس کا دو باپ اور اس کی چوبیس ورس میں لکھا ہے تیس چوبیس میں لکھا ہے کہ وہ میرے بدن میں سے بدن میرے ہڈی میں سے ہڈی اور میرے گوش میں سے گوش ہے سو جب ہم ایک دوسرے کو اس طرح پیار کریں گے تو یہ ہمارا پہلا لیسن ہے پہلی سیڑھی ہے پہلا سٹیپ ہے شادی کا سو جو شادی ہے وہ ایک کونٹ ہے وہ ایک اہد ہے نہ کہ پاسٹر آسیف نے کہا کہ نہ کہ ایک کونٹریکٹ ہے جس کو کبھی بھی توڑا جا سکتا ہے اس کے لیے آپ کو کیا اگر پاسٹر آسیف ایو نو وین وی کم تو دا پوائنٹ آف ایو نو در ایس در آر ایس یو سیڈ در آر کرائیسیس ان ایوری میریجیز ان ایوری یو نو ہاؤس در ایس ای پرابلم اور پیپل ہیو گون تھرو پرابلم وین یو کم تو دا پوائنٹ آف uh, a serious point, yeah. okay? A disagreement. A disagreement let's or say point to, uh, <laughs> uh, let's say, point, uh, you reach to the point of like separation or complete, yeah. um, mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. know, yeah. divorce. I, yeah. I don't want to say this word, yeah. but you know, this yeah. is a fact. Okay, when you are at that point, yeah. You know, uh, do you think uh, these vows, if they are being reminded to you, can these help? I'll, 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 I'll come back to the beginning of the marriage. Marriage is designed by God. Yeah. 
marriage mm -hmm. is God's plan. Yes. It is God's first church mm -hmm. for husband and wife to come together. Mm -hmm. first the church. first church in the Bible mm -hmm. is Adam and Eve. Mm -hmm. And then it was their sons mm -hmm. and daughters. The first church mm -hmm. became a church yes. with two individuals called husband and wife. Yeah. Okay. And That's if fantastic. the God element is not there, mm -hmm. then it cannot stay together. Because the God is the foundation of marriage. God is the foundation. God Praise is the God. foundation of mm -hmm. marriage. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so every individual, both husband and wife, has to spend their own time with the Lord mm -hmm. so that their marriage, because God will make them understand their spouse. Yes. yes. Because you are yes. like, I, 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 all my life I lived in Libya. Mm -hmm. My wife is from Pakistan. The, 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 it was two different uh, cultures, two different perspectives of life, two different uh, ways that you ways. will look at life. Mm. But then we are coming together for lifetime. Two different How people together. How can you come together mm. with two different backgrounds and stay for life together? Mm -hmm. Only God can do that miracle. Yes. Only can yes. God can do that. Amen. So uh, we've got 10 minutes left. I just mm. want to ask you some personal questions, yes, if you please. don't mind. Yes, all right. So um, <laughs> <laughs> we, we have nothing to be afraid of. No, no, we are not. Okay, mm -hmm. so your wife was uh, uh, from a different culture, background, mm -hmm. you, uh, yet your uh, marriage is very successful. That's I right. know that. That's right. So, uh, what is the secret of that? Um, <clears throat> what kept you going together? I was uh, in, in Cyprus, in a totally different country, and uh, with a totally different mindset to live a life, because yes. it was quite European and westernized mm -hmm. culture that I was living in. And you know, when, when came, she came into my life, and then there were quite few adjustments. We have to be flexible, we have yes. to be flexible. Yes. towards Amen. God, yes. so that we will be flexible to our partner. Yeah. Amen. Right? So uh, yes. we came to agreements yes. by the power of God. We used Amen. to pray together. Without prayer, this relationship cannot continue. Yes. Amen. It, cannot, it, it cannot sustain. Mm -hmm. Okay. After yeah. the marriage course, yeah. was there any. Um, uh, uh, difference than before? Okay, um, uh, we both decided that our time to spend together is much more important than anything else in the world. Amen. After Amen. God, mm -hmm. it's your partner, it's your husband and it's your wife that you need to take time to sit together, pray together. Individual prayer is most important thing. Mm -hmm. You have to shut yourself away from anybody, even your spouse. That's what the Bible says, that you need to close the uh, and get into the room and, and talk to the Lord. And second thing, you need to talk to your partner. Yes. Amen. Miscommunication, yes. yes. no communication is the biggest problem of the modern society. Yes. Mm -hmm. We hardly get time to communicate to our partners. Yes. Amen. We Amen. spend more time with our managers and our supervisors and our colleagues. True. And children spend more time with their teachers, yes. seven hours from nine to three, and hardly get any time for the family to come and sit together or pray together or discuss things in a healthy manner. Sure. Amen. That is fantastically explained. It is very beautiful, Pastor Asif has been told that your spouse, your partner, which is very important to give time. And this is our request to you. Viewers who are watching this program, please, please listen to this, uh, listen to the voice of the Lord. The Lord is speaking through his people. He wants to restore his body. He wants to restore this community, culture, uh, church. He's getting uh, us ready yes. for to be taken up. Yes. But we have to be obedient. Mm. There is a part that we can I play and yes. then the rest of the things will take place. We have to complete our part and that is the fact that we are doing our partner to our spouse. We have to see that our partner has a problem, or we are misusing him, or we are not taking his news, or we are not taking his news, or we are not taking his news, but we are not taking his news. We have to take action now. This is the action time. Yes, sir. Okay? ये तो एक ऐसी चीज है जिसके लिए हमने अभी जागना है। So Pastor Asif, one more thing. How are you? Is your wife, you know, happy after you've done this course? And I'm sure she's a very blessed woman. That you know, she's got her husband who is understanding and even you know now his more his mind is more illumined, and he she must be very happy. She is. She is an. Uh, uh, 
it's it's funny, but after 18 years, it's the first time I took her out. <laughs> you know, <Wow. laughs> and, and it, was, it was it was quite uh, it was quite new thing for my children. And said, Dad, are you going to on honeymoon again? And I said, Well, you may think like that, but the, spiritually, you know, in that one day time, we spend time in the presence of the Lord. Yes. I mean, we spend the whole day praying together and you know discussing things and really had had a good time that we have planned that we will do it every month now. We have to really sit together oh, and, and spend time together that, uh, so that you know, God's blessing would be poured Amen. into our lives. Amen. And secondly, I would like to say this. This is a very powerful thing that we, we studied. It's that we need to change our language and we need to change the way we address things. Yes. If anyone says that this is my car, stop saying this is our car. Our car. If you say this is my children, children, this is my son, don't say that. Say this oh. is our son. This is our daughter. Good. If it's your spouse's problem, say it, it is our problem. problem. Not it's his problem, mm -hmm. not it's her problem. It's our it is our problem. Pastor Asif, that's so powerful. Amen. So Amen. it's the lang language of unity. Yes. yes. Like Pastor Asif is saying that we have to change our language. If we love our partner, whether you are male or female, you have come from any culture, but you have been put together, you have to cut your needs, 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 you have to cut your needs. Pastor Asif has said, इस तरह कहा है कि हमें ये नहीं कहना कि गाड़ी अगर आप किसी एक किया तो ये ना कहें कि ये मेरी गाड़ी है, बल्कि ये कहें कि हमारी गाड़ी और होना भी ऐसे ही चाहिए। our community is lacking unity. Because we are lacking unity, we are falling apart. And if we put this thing right now, put it in pieces, then we will be put together. Someone said in the last week, that the trees, the trees that were on the trees, when they were on the trees, then that is the miracle. वो एक ऐसा यूनिक मिरिकल था जिसके लिए कोई थियोलॉजी या कोई ऐसा ऑपोजिट ऑपोजिशन जो है क्वेश्चन नहीं कर सकते बिकॉज़ वो हड्डियों के ऊपर नबुवत हुई देयर वाज अ प्रोफेसी ओवर द डेड बोन्स ड्राई बोन्स एंड व्हेन यू रिसीव अ मिरिकल थ्रू द ड्राई बोन्स देयर इज नो क्वेश्चन नो क्वेश्चन कैन बी रेज नो वन कैन से व्हाई हाउ और यू नो हु यू नो डिड दिस बिकॉज़ वी नो दिस इज इंपॉसिबल ओनली द किंग ऑफ किंग्स एंड लॉर्ड ऑफ Lord can do this. Well, you didn't know, sir, Pastor Ruth, this. Uh, during the course, God gave me the, exactly this picture yeah. that this marriage course Amen. should spread and it will, it will go from towns to towns and cities to cities all across UK and it will rebuild the marriage values. Amen. It will re-strengthen the marriages yeah. uh, in, in the society because this is a weak part. And maybe you think that <laughs> your, your marriage is like dry, dead bones. It yes. can never be restored, but give God a chance. Amen. Amen. In your one marriage minute, will be restored. In one minute, say something to the viewers. Uh, we pray for your marriages. All I would like to say is that marriage cannot sustain without God. Give your time to your God and, and, and ask God to intervene into your situation. Jesus is the living Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Come to God. He designed it. He is responsible to restore it. Give him a time and, and ask him to come into your life and he will restore you towards <coughs> prosperity. Amen. It has been a very wonderful program, and I hope you are all blessed. Pastor Derek, Pastor Asif, I'm so thankful to you. You were you you know, able to come and make this program more beautiful and Amen. effective for our viewers. Viewers, many of you request viewers, I'm requesting, please go before the Lord, kneel down, and ask the Lord to help you to understand the ways of God. خداون ہمارے رستے ٹھیک کر دیجئے میں آپ سے ایک question کرتی ہوں بلکہ دو کروں گے کیا آپ کی شادی بالکل ٹھیک ہے آپ کی شادی سیکیور ہے کیا آپ اپنے پارٹنر سے اپنے جو ساتھی سے وفادار ہیں کیا آپ اس کی ضرورتوں کو جانتے ہیں کیا آپ یہ جانتے ہیں کہ اس کے دل میں کیا ہے کیا کبھی آپ نے اس سے یہ پوچھا ہے کہ تمہاری ضرورت کیا ہے یا اس کی جو بھی کوئی پریشانی ہے کیا ہے کیا آپ نے اس کو وقت دیا ہے یہ میرے آپ سے question ہے اس کے بارے آپ سوچتے رہیے اور اپنے جو ساتھی کے لیے دعا کیجئے اور اگر مشکل پڑے تو ہماری ایک جو strong hold ہے 
we need to go to that stronghold and he is able and amen he will restore your marriage he will bring you back together there are so many young couples that are you know being stored we can't just you know let people go and let them fall apart no this is the time for restoration ye waqt aa gaya hai ki ab hum uthenge jaagenge aur jitni bhi hamari haddiyan bikhar gayi hain unke ikatthe hone ka waqt hai amen so hamari ye dua hai ki jitne bhi viewers is program ko dekh rahe hain unke liye प्रोग्राम भलाई का प्रोग्राम हो उनके लिए बरकत का प्रोग्राम हो और मैं आपसे रिक्वेस्ट करूंगी कि अगले प्रोग्राम को जरूर देखते रहिएगा सात बजे ट्यूसडे ऑन सेवन ओ क्लॉक एवरी ट्यूसडे एंड देन देर इज अ रिपीट ऑन फ्राइडे आई थिंक दैट इज एट वन और वन थर्टी एंड प्लीज बी अ पार्ट ऑफ दिस प्रोग्राम इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन इफ यू हैव एनी इश्यू Uh, that we can share about uh, you know on this channel please contact us Reve- contact revelation tv or you can come back to my uh, facebook or subhash's and to uh, give us your views and we will be happy to you know take your views so god bless you god is so good it has you know i hope you have all enjoyed this program God is good. Keep watching Arise Asia. Arise Asia is ordained by God Almighty. Amen. It's Amen. doing Revelation is doing a wonderful uh, work for here from here. God bless you. See you next week.